Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the Fancy Sip Review. Today I have a new beverage to try out. The Steel Reserve Spiked Blue Raspberry. Now on the can, it says that it is brewed for extra gravity and exceptionally smooth flavor. Smooth flavor sounds like something the fancy reviewer wants, but brewed for extra gravity? Steel Reserve, what if I am trying to get to the NBA and I'm trying to do flashy dunks? Don't you think the gravity is going to weigh me down, causing an issue? What if I'm trying to become the next Tony Hawk? I don't want to fall to the ground faster and be unable to complete my spins. But smooth flavor is what I am here for. So this beverage is 8% alcohol at 24 ounces. They are not stiffing you out of 0.5 ounces like uh, another beverage that I reviewed that I will not name. Let's see uh, how the pour is. Let's see what the taste is. Let's see if this is up to the taste of a fancy reviewer such as myself. I do like the coloring. I noticed a lot of energy drinks nowadays and seltzers. They don't want to add artificial coloring. They think that it is unhealthy. But how will people know what flavor drink you are having if they don't see the color? If it's just a clear beverage, could be anything. It could even be water. What are you even paying for? Let's uh, give this a spin. Let's see if there's any imperfections and impurities. I will say, this might be the worst beverage in terms of smell that I've ever had in my life. It smells expired, but it is not. I already looked at the can. But let's give it a taste, see if the taste is any good. This is a very good beverage. It tastes exactly like it says it's going to taste. You're getting no malt aftertaste. You are getting no sour. You are getting pure sweetness. At 570 uh, calories, it's exactly what you want. Would you be able to drink a lot of these? Absolutely not. You will get sick. Two of these, you might as well just not even eat food for the rest of the day. Um, in terms of taste, I mean, like... Let's give it a second chance. There's no way that it was as good as I believed it was on first sip. It's very drinkable. This beverage has good mouthfeel. Steel Reserve is known usually as a cheap uh, malt liquor that is usually drinking by people who are trying to get drunk but not spend a lot of money. Now I will say this does cost a dollar fifty more than what a steel reserve would cost. Would you should you pay two dollars and fifty cents when you could be paying a dollar for a base steel reserve and maybe buying a soda to drink with this? I genuinely think this would be better than the soda and at 8% alcohol with the sugary taste you're getting, I think this is definitely a good value. The Steel Reserved Alloy Series is probably a good uh, series compared to the Four Locos, which is the only thing I've reviewed so far. You may have to try more of these, see if they're as good as this one. Just give it one more pour, I mean... Let's try the smell again. Let's give it a second chance. There's no way that it smells as bad as I thought it did. It doesn't smell good. It's, it's very bizarre how a beverage can smell like this. It 
So again, what did I think about this beverage? I think you're getting a nice sugary flavor. I believe, again, it's about 570 calories, something like that. I believe 66 carbohydrates, which is a lot. Uh, it's going to cost you more than the base steel reserve by about a dollar fifty. It uh, just tastes like a tastes like a soda. I'm going to give this beverage, if very honest, eight and a half out of ten. If you are to sip on this, if you are to just chug this, I'll I'll just try it. That's also getting an 8.5. So far, this has been the best alcoholic pop drink that I've had. The Steel Reserve Alloy Series. I might have to review more of these and let my uh, fancy fans know what I think about it. Finally, I want to give a shout out to Adam Friedland. It's a shame Stavros decided to leave Cumtown, but I see what you're putting out there, the guests that you're having on the show. I think the quality has gotten a lot better without the, the constant, you know, annoying laughter that could turn off an audience member who may have never listened to Cumtown before, and the first time they're introduced, they just hear, ha, 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 ha. I'd like to see uh, one day, maybe, you know, the f I could be on the Adam Friedland show. I might have to check my calendar. I'm a very uh, busy man. But we'll see what happens. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you all have a great night. Maybe go out and uh, buy one of these and let the person at the register say the fancy man sent you. Maybe I can get sponsored. Thank you again for watching my video. Have a good night, and I'll see you in the next video.